So today I'm going to be doing a haul. This is mainly Ulta, a few other things. Um, I originally went to Ulta for the Tarte primer because I tried to film a Halloween tutorial and it made my pores look so awful and I was like, I can't do this. I need a pore primer before I can continue with this. So that's what I went for, but I didn't come out with it. So I did go ahead and pick up the Tarte Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle Double Duty Beauty. Um, this is the box that it comes in. This is part of the Double Duty Beauty line, which is exclusive to Ulta, so I do not believe you'll be able to find this at Sephora yet. And this is a beautiful contour highlight palette. So you have a shimmery highlight and a contour, and you can tell the contour is, I would say, on the lighter side, but it's also very cool tone. And then this is one of the nicest highlighters that I've seen from Tarte. They refer to it on this little plastic thing as contour and champagne highlight. All right, we're super relaxed around here tonight, and I left the door open so the dogs are around if you can hear them. So then I was really excited because I've always had to order all of the Catrice products online. They didn't carry them in any of the stores near me. So quickly, these are two things that I already own from Catrice, and they are things that I really like. So the first is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and it does have this sticker on it that says that it is waterproof. I have mine in the color 010, so I think that's like the lightest color that they have. I will say, if you do not have the extreme dark circles that I have, you're probably going to like this. I would qualify this as a full coverage. I am a special case and there are only three concealers on the face of this planet that actually cover my dark circles. Literally three. So I do really like this. I like that it's waterproof. I can use this if I use either a corrector or if I cover um, with foundation first. Um, and I have this super light color so it gives nice brightness. I really recommend this. The other thing that I had previously ordered online that I really like and you'd seen in a haul before is this Catrice Smoky Matte Powder Liner. And I love this. This is amazing. It is everything I wanted it to be. It is a tiny little guy. And this is uh, filled with black eyeshadow. Like a powder eyeshadow formula. So now for the items that I picked up. Some of these are things that I've had on my favorites at Ulta um, and I just hadn't thrown into orders yet. So first I got two of the Glam Fusion Powder to Gel Eyeshadows and this is the packaging. I got color 010 Jon Snow's Favorite which is like a white color and I got 020 To Be Continued. They look like okay so finger swatches so this is 10 and 20 I picked up another Catrice liquid metal, metal eyeshadow um, the packaging looks like this and I picked this up in color 040 Under Treasure. I own the two like more yellow champagne-y colors. Um, a lot of people recommend those. They look um, a lot like the Kiko one. You can use them as highlighters. Um, this one was, I thought, a little more gunmetal gray, um, which it is more gunmetal gray than the other two that I own. Um, but I thought this was going to be more gunmetal gray than it actually is. Um, these will... If you order these online, it may come with this, like kind of, it falls out. Um, I've seen several people's fall out and I have one that has fallen out. So that is something to be, these are, you do want to be careful with this one. The texture on this looks cool, but honestly, I actually kind of find it a pain in the butt. But not so much that I won't use it. So there's the other two eyeshadow swatches. So to me, it's more of a taupe. I expected more of a gunmetal gray, and it actually comes out more taupe. So they do beautiful eyeshadow formulas. 
Another thing from them that I don't know for sure that I'm loving is a highlighter. We'll have to report back on that. I haven't used it enough to say I really love it. So, what I went in for was the Tarte Primer, but then when I saw this, I put the $40 Tarte Primer back and got the $6 one from Catrice. Um, I did not know that they were carrying Catrice at this store. It has, I go like a couple times a week, so it has to be a fairly new display. Um, this is called Prime and Fine Soothing Refiner for Invisible Pores and Lines. So this is what the inside looks like. It's kind of like a, a extremely pale pink color, almost white. And says, base for an instantly refined, smooth, and soft skin appearance. Makes pores and lines invisible. I will say, now that I have it home and I've had time to feel it, it definitely does not have the exact same texture as the Tarte one, but I'm hoping that you get the same kind of effect from it. But I don't use primer on a normal basis. I don't have pores that bother me on a normal basis. So I really, when I saw this, was like I would much rather get that and try that than spend $40 on a product that I'm just not going to use that often. The next products I picked up were the Catrice Illuminating Blush. They had three colors there and I went ahead and picked up two. Um, I picked up 10 I'm Nuts About You and 40 La Vie and Rose. There was a third one that was much, much, like it was like a brighter pink. Um, I'm not a bright pink blush person, so I stuck with my typical kind of nudie mauve and the coral. So you can see it's got like a little weave design and there's like two colors in there. Blushes don't swatch all that well, but on the top we have I'm Nuts About You and on the bottom we're going to have the rose. I picked up this Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. darker color there were two colors there was a lighter one and and I think it said for light to medium brows and then there's this one and it claims naturally tinted eyebrow gel suitable for all eyebrow colors the fibers fill in small gaps for dense and perfected shaped eyebrows within seconds I'm not thrilled about the um, applicator wand on this it's a little large um, in length mainly so just for comparison to my eyebrow shape um, I just really prefer those super tiny ones like on the Essence dupe. Um, let's see, the Essence I think is called Make Me Brow. It's a dupe for the benefit Give Me Brow, but Essence is not a brand to avoid on Logical Harmony. Um, I don't know. That's just a little large for eyebrows. It worked. I mean, I didn't get like a bunch everywhere on the outside. I did actually apply some there, so um, we'll see. I'm not thrilled about the applicator. Okay, and then the last item that I picked up from Catrice are the Catrice Made to Stay Highlighter Pens. And when I saw these, these immediately made me think of the new Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector um, Slim Lights that came out. I have one of those, and I'll show you those in a minute. So. They, these are the only two colors they had at the store, and I think these are possibly the only two colors they make. So there's like a white. It's called, uh, the white is called 30 I Need. These are very pigmented. I don't really know why I need feel the need to like keep swiping back and forth. Because um, I'm just obsessive. And then this next one is 10 I Like. So this is what the white one looks like. And I have previously swatched these. I will say that the white one has more shimmer to it than the pink one. It has more like actual shimmer, shimmer particle. So then there's the white one and then there's the pink one. So I would say the white is stronger than the pink. So I was excited when I saw these because I like keeping these types of things around um, to do the inner corner of the eye. And then I have, um, I was going to, I'm 
I plan on picking up this in Champagne Pop. But right now, the only Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Slim Light that I own is in Pearl. It's actually the only product of theirs that I own in the Pearl color. I'm going to swap it next to this white one. So Becca Pearl has more of a blue undertone and does not have as much shimmer as the white Catrice one. I would say the shimmer is similar to the pink tone one. So we've got Becca Pearl, this is the Catrice white and the Catrice pink. This is the Catrice, and this is the Becca Pearl. For comparison, the Catrice one is 1.64 grams, and the Becca is 1.68 grams. So you just get the teensiest bit more with Becca, but Catrice is $5.49, and Becca is $28. So, I'm sorry, but you're not getting that much more product for this one. I think it'll all depend on color. With Catrice, you only get two color options, and I believe this one comes in three color options. We're just gonna look, add a little to the inner corner of my eye. Just because that's what I plan on doing with it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and then just while I'm here and we're doing a haul, I'm going to show you a few random things that I picked up today at Five Below, whatever that thing's called. So, I keep buying City Color Cosmetics, and I don't know why, because I've yet to find something that I'm thrilled with. They have good quality products for the price, but the thing is, is I don't, I personally am not in a position right now where I have to buy inexpensive cosmetics, and their things just don't throw me. Like, there's some things, like from Catrice, like, or from Elf or whatever like this this is freaking awesome this from Catrice there is no other product that I like as much as this for this category on the market I'm going for this same thing like this this is five dollars compared to 28 I'm going for this because it's freaking awesome you know I just don't feel that way about anything from City Color yet I've tried quite the range of their things and there's just nothing yet that I'm like omg I'm reaching for that over my super expensive thing just hasn't happened yet so I bought something anyways this is the City Color Timeless Beauty highlighting palette highlight and bronze it calls it um, they are cruelty free and it's got these four colors comes off very pigmented So here's my thing with this. I know, right? Like, why did I even spend my money? I think it was $4, if anybody's wondering. So this gold color is pretty, and I can probably use it. So for $4, that may be great and grand, but I don't really need the rest of this, right? Like, I kind of wish I could just buy that for, like, two. I'd be happy with that. Um, and I don't know anyone that's going to wear a bronzer that's that shimmery. So... I'm thinking they'll be great. Like, I think these two could be great highlighters for darker skin tones. And maybe even this last one. But this last one has a kind of a purple cast to it that I don't think is showing up on camera. Um, but there's definitely, like, a purple undertone to that. So, I do think it's a great product. I'm honestly probably going to wear some of these as eyeshadows. Because... Those look like beautiful eyeshadow colors, and even that one. So, the last thing that I picked up for Five Below, and is the reason why I wanted to include Five Below in this video. Disclaimer, I have no idea if this is cruelty-free. No clue. But these were $2, and I thought these were kind of pretty fantastic for $2. For, like, if you kind of want to dress up for something, but you don't really want to wear a costume. So they had these little kits. I believe there were five, and I picked up two. So the first one that I picked up is Vampire Vixen. This is by Body Charms Body Art Cosmetics. Like I said, I, do, I, am not, I don't know if they're a cruelty-free brand. But for $2, you get these little fangs. 
some trans, um, these are like those temporary tattoos that you flip over and put water. Um, there's a red lipstick in here. And then there are false lashes. And these false lashes have um, red rhinestones all the way around the base. You can see that. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for $2. I mean, I don't even know places, there's not that many places you can get false lashes for $2. Um, I kind of wish the little tattoo guys were like slightly different. Like the, the, like the blood drip was slightly different because it's not going to look realistic if they're exactly the same. Um, and I will say I have already opened this and washed the little things and they don't stay on my teeth. I kind of think it's because I have short little teeth. <laughs> so we're getting weird now. Um, so I'm a little disappointed because that's kind of, I kind of bought this one for the little things because I wanted them to actually include in my next little kit. So I'm a little disappointed, but I can't be too disappointed because there's a pair of false lashes in here that I can completely rock and false lashes with red rhinestones for $2, I still think is a great deal. So the other kit that I got is the Lustrous Leopard, and it comes with these little ears, and I can take them out in a minute. It comes with a black eyeliner, um, some glitter gold leopard temporary transfer tattoos, and another pair of lashes, and these are bigger and more flared, and they have three um, yellow gold rhinestones just on the outside corner. Let me take this out for you. What I really liked about this is this is not your traditional um, headband kitty ears. The little kitty ears look like this, and then on the back side, they're um, like a real fuzzy fuzz. And they're on the little clips that you snap. We all had these as kids, right? So I'm just not a big headband wearer because um, headbands just don't, I don't know, they don't stay on my head. I don't have a good shaped head for headbands. They typically will hurt partially through the day. Plus, sometimes you just, the headband messes with your hairstyle, right? I'm super thrilled about these ears. I'm so excited. That alone was worth the $2. So you do just get, I was kind of wondering about that. There, there is just one of these temporary tattoos. There's not another one underneath of it. And then if you can see the false lashes, they're a little better. And they have the three rhinestones just on the outside flare. But these are much longer and much more flared um, than the others. These do have decently thick bands, but not terrible. I would say for being included in a kit with other things and this only being $2, this is a really, really great deal, you guys. Um, I don't remember what the other themes were. I'm pretty sure there was one that was like a sugar skull, and I don't think all of them necessarily had lashes. But anyways, if you have a five below near you and you need kind of this kind of thing where you can kind of be cute and dressed up but not like in a full I know somebody at work that hates when I do finger quotes so I'm sorry for that although I don't think he'll ever watch this video um so if you need to be kind of dressed up but not wear like a full-on costume I think this is a great inexpensive way uh, to participate in some Halloween festivities and um, I'm probably going to be rocking these ears like a lot because I just <laughs> in freaking love with these damn ears. I need to go. I wish they came in like multiple colors. I make it multiples as is just because I think of right now I would cry if I lost these. So I hope you guys are having a great evening or it's evening here for me. I hope you're having a great day, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. And if you don't mind, please subscribe or like this video and I would really appreciate it. Okay, so I was just taking a little thumbnail picture and I totally didn't. I did not plan this, you guys. Um, I totally forgot that I was wearing a cheetah print shirt and I have my cheetah print earrings. So, and I'm not like a, I don't typically rock double print, but I'm really feeling like I could go trick or treating right now because 